Let's do this problem now, converting between KC and KP. So this one says the chemical engineer injects limestone into the hot flue gas of a coal burning power plant to form lime, which scrubs um, sulfur dioxide from the, from the gas and forms gypsum. Um, calcium sulfate uh, dihydrate. Find Kc for the following reaction if uh, carbon dioxide pressure is in atmospheres. Okay. So um, we have the formula that we were just given for the conversion of Kp to Kc, right? So it was KP equals KC times RT raised to the change of the number of moles of gas in the reaction. Okay? So notice it's just gas in general. It doesn't matter what the identity of the actual gas is. Okay? So if you want to come over here, how do we do the change in anything? So the change in number of moles of gas is going to be the number of moles of gas final minus the number of moles of gas initial, right? And so the final number of moles of gas, just from our balanced chemical equation here, we're just going to assume it's a one-to-one-to-one -one -to -one ratio, and so I'm just going to say one mole. Okay? So one mole. Minus, what, how much gas do we have over here? Zero moles. So, the change is going to be one mole. Okay. Everybody okay with doing that? So, um, we've got Kp and we're looking for Kc though. So we've got to rearrange this equation. Let's isolate Kc. Kc equals Kp divided by Rt raised to the change in number of moles of gas. Okay, so we have Kp 2.1 times 10 to the negative 4 divided by 0.08 liter ATM for one mole Kelvin. And you honestly don't even have to expand it out because again, we're just going to kill all of our units in a second. Okay, I've got that raised to the one. Or one mole, or whatever you want to say. But again, all our units are going to be killed. Okay. So, has everybody got to this point? Does it make sense at least to get to that point? Okay, wonderful. So let's just solve our problem now. So, Okay, so this should go to two sig figs. So I get 2.6 times 10 to the negative 6. No units, okay? So remember, why, why is this important? Because for reactions where gas, gaseous um, products are formed, or you have gaseous reactants, you, it's hard to figure out what the concentration is. So if we do it this way, we can figure out what the Kc is through using the pressure um, readings from our manometer. Okay. Any questions on this one? Pretty straightforward, right?